Hello everybody and welcome back to Crypto Time. Now today is not the best of days for the market. I really want to drive home in this video that you shouldn't be too worried about this. This is what they call a flash crash. Uh, it's happened many times before. These types of crashes happen all the time within crypto. I don't think you should be too worried now. Did it happen really quickly? Yes, and that's why you call it a flash crash. Uh, Bitcoin was looking actually really good yesterday. We're hitting highs of I think 11.3 almost or 11.2. I believe of about 11.3. Um, came back down to about 10k. We were sitting healthy at 10k for a while, and then we crashed back down to about 9897. So, I know it's unfortunate to see, and I know that a lot of people are probably wondering what's happening now. Don't quote me on this because I'm not positive, but I believe the Asian or Chinese like festivities, their whole uh, New Year or their like celebration time, I, I believe just ended. I'm not 100% positive on that, but I believe people are contributing this crash to that. Now, I don't know how much validity that holds because this isn't that severe of a crash. I mean, yeah, we lost maybe 10 to 12 percent uh, in the last couple in the last, what, six hours, maybe seven hours. But I don't think it's severe enough to contribute it to something like that. However, that might be definitely a contributing reason to what's going on right here. And unfortunately, as what happens with this market, the altcoins are following and we're seeing a lot of altcoins today in almost a 10 percent loss range. Uh, we see Dash at 11, we see a couple coins in the high 8s, high 9s. Unfortunately, that's just the way things go. When Bitcoin goes down, the altcoins follow. When Bitcoin goes up, the altcoins follow. And actually, something that I am excited about is that the Bitcoin dominance is coming back into the market. Not necessarily because I'm shilling Bitcoin or something like that, although that really shouldn't even be a phrase because everybody should support Bitcoin. However, in my video a couple days ago, I believe it was my... It was two weeks ago, my message to Bitcoin holders, I actually called this happening, saying that I think the dominance is on its way of shifting back to Bitcoin. And not to toot my own horn, when you're new into the cryptocurrency space or new into a new niche on YouTube or whatever, you really need to work on establishing your reputation. And whenever I make like a right call or a correct call like this, it really helps with establishing my reputation. So I'm just really happy about that, that um, what I called out happening is actually happening. So... Just a little side note on that, but you really shouldn't be too worried about this. Now, do we like seeing the market bleed? Do we like seeing the sea of red? No, of course not. It would be nice if it didn't happen. But in order to keep a healthy market, things like this need to happen. We can't just keep pumping up. We need to have upward swings. We need to have downward swings. It can't just be up, up, up all the time. We saw what happened last November and December, how that insane pump just led to the very, very demoralizing crash that happened in the market. And like I said, a lot of confidence was lost in the market when that happened. And I think a lot of people are still down on the investments they made at that time. So them putting new money in, I think a lot of people are hesitant. But as Bitcoin continues to grow at the pace it's growing at, it's seeing pumps. It's also seeing pullbacks. And I think that's a lot more healthy than just these insane pumps. So hopefully we stay on this path. Now, do I want to see a flash crash every two days? No, definitely not. Um, but I think that it's healthier than just these huge dramatic pumps. So... I don't think you guys should be worried. Definitely do not sell your coins. Things like this happen all the time. These quick crashes and then we come back. It, it happens pretty frequently in the crypto market, especially if you've been here for a long time. You've seen this happen a couple times. Um, and that the Bitcoin dominance is coming back, I think, is a good thing for the market for right now. And hopefully it hits higher lows as it climbs. We get up to the 11, 12, break those 13, 14 barriers. So hopefully we see that. I'm excited for the future. Don't let something like this worry you. We're still in the beginning months. We're only like 40 days or something or 50 days into 2018. So everybody stay positive. Let's keep our course. Of course, by the way, I am not a financial advisor. So if you want to sell your coins, that's all you. You are the owner of your coins. You do what you want. This is just simply my opinion and what I'm going to do. So sorry I had to say that, but you kind of got to throw those things in there now and um, get those little disclaimers out there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video, make sure to like it. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, 